understanding, pull compensation, and embroidery and beyond. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase that might not be familiar to all. Pull compensation. This term is quite specific and is mostly used in the context of embroidery, but understanding it can also give us insights into how we adapt to challenges and make adjustments in various aspects of life. Let's explore what pull compensation means and why it's important. Pull compensation refers to the adjustments made during the embroidery design process to account for the way fabric stretches or distorts when it's embroidered. When embroidery is applied to fabric, it tends to pull the material together, which can cause the design to look different than intended, smaller, distorted, or misaligned. To prevent this, designers increase the size of certain elements of the design in anticipation of the pull, ensuring the finished product looks as planned. This concept is crucial for high-quality embroidery work. Without pull compensation, embroidered designs might not only look unprofessional but could also fail to meet the specific needs or expectations of a project. For example, if you're embroidering a logo on a polo shirt, lack of pull compensation could result in a logo that appears squished or uneven. This concept highlights the importance of planning and adjusting for material behavior in craftsmanship and design. Interestingly, the idea of pull compensation can be applied metaphorically to other areas of life and work. It teaches us the importance of anticipating changes and making adjustments to achieve our desired outcomes. Whether it's adjusting plans based on forecasted weather, modifying a recipe based on the ingredients you have, or altering your study techniques based on learning outcomes, the principle of making informed adjustments is universally applicable. Understanding pull compensation enriches our appreciation for the intricacies of embroidery and offers a powerful analogy for adaptability and planning in everyday life. Whether you're an embroidery enthusiast or someone interested in the broader lessons that specific terms can teach us, I hope this exploration of pull compensation has been enlightening. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to our next learning adventure together.